and welcome to State of the Realm, your weekly Final Fantasy XIV podcast. This week, we actually had a ton of news, a lot of little announcements coming out because 5.1 is now getting pretty close. We already had it confirmed that it was going to be late October, and we probably have a guaranteed date at this point looking at some of the things that were announced. So we're going to talk about that for this show and not just ask the chat or to ask us random questions. I'm one of your hosts, Michael Mr. Ed Pogrom, of course. Joining me is my boy, Blue Sly, who I got to stuff full of food couple weeks ago and uh i want to see i want to see him unable to move after more food how you doing this week Slide? don't ever do that again no listen you didn't have to eat all that much we listen that waiter saved us because we were going to each order our own thing and then he's like just get the two yeah. fur i'm sure you guys will be fine and it was like <laughs> yeah we're fine all right <laughs> yeah we didn't talk about twitchcon much uh because last yeah. week we actually canceled the show. I put it. I, I put it on Twitter. I think uh, when you officially said you weren't going to have jury duty, but Sly wasn't sure up until pretty much the day before whether or not he'd have jury duty that Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And uh, I figured better to just cancel the show, and then he ended up not having jury duty. But we didn't have a show put together, so that's why there wasn't a show last week. Um, hopefully, you had a good Twitch con though, Sly. I did. I did. Despite not being able to Please. move. And despite, like, despite the TV dinner as well. That was good, though, the TV dinner thing. We could yeah. probably, uh, if, if this was less of a 14 show and more of a whatever the fuck we want it to be about show, we talk more about that. But it's not one of those shows, yeah. so we're uh, we're going to have to leave those details for our individual streams. I guess so. Or for post show. Post show works, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that works. There you go. Yeah, enjoy the apple juice. All right. The good news is, though, Sly, last week we wouldn't have had really had much of a show prepared between TwitchCon being two days after State of the Realm that week, plus just really nothing else coming out. Uh, there wasn't really any time to prep any sort of specific show. We're kind of waiting for 5.1 to come around, job changes to come around, Ultimate to come around. But we have begun what is our string of new patch shows at this point because they're starting to filter out teasers. Next week, we have a live letter, and the following week, we should have preliminary patch notes. The following week, we should have a patch, and then the following week after that, we have a patch between the patch, probably to do a lore show. Then we have another show about Ultimate First Impressions, and we probably have another raid show to talk about Ultimate once the entire fight has been uncovered. So you can see we've got like five or six weeks of shows already planned out without me needing to fish for like a healing, tanking, any sort of specific crafting thing, because we're probably going to be due for that with Ishgard coming out. So I hope you're ready, because we are going to have shows for the next however many weeks, because there's going to be yep. plenty to talk about. So all those were teasers for all of you. Now know all the shows. Don't ask me. That wasn't even week. really a teaser. That was just the basic fucking schedule. Yeah, that's what we do every time there's a patch cycle around. We get like six or seven easy show topics, and then we're like, okay, now we got to look. <laughs> Now we need to come up with, uh, bring a content creator on, bring on crafting and gathering and like the, all those other things that uh, come in between the major the major ones. But it's good to be back on that weekly schedule. It does mean a lot of Friday shows, though. Sly. Yeah. Because next week it have to be a Friday show for the live letter, following Friday for patch notes. Then, we know that we couldn't do a Tuesday show the day of the patch. I don't know that we want to, but we'd be doing a Tuesday hey, show the following I don't week. Know. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, we can, but. Mm. Yeah. After all the content during the day, I don't know. You know what I need to find? I need to find a way to stop Zoom from screwing with my stream because now it's getting worse every week as we started before this show. Those of you listening to audio, it doesn't matter too much, but Zoom has just become more and more of a disaster. Our, our program that we used to actually capture our video here. Uh, it's been a long time since we've used Skype calls, but yep, <laughs> Skype didn't screw with me this much. It was just bad. <laughs> I mean, there's always Discord as yeah. I do honestly at this point with with how annoying it's been every week. Like I've had the lower quality of the stream, and we had crashes before the stream started because of Zoom. Might have to use Discord video until I find out what uh, JP was using. I have to ask him. I have to just send him the DM. I just keep forgetting to do it. Leave me alone, phone. I don't even know who that is. Oh, it's a Reddit. Re- Reddit, leave me alone. I don't need you on my phone. <laughs> 
Reddit just won't. It just ruins. Reddit just won't leave you alone. It won't. It's it's not even anything important. Uh, it's just something on the indivisible Reddit. So Sly. Yes. We've got news. We do. We've got thoughts on that news. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now that we've given everyone a teaser of all the shows to come, what do you say we talk about some of that news? Let's do it. All right. Well, the first and easiest thing to talk about is we have an official date for the next live letter. Mm-hmm. It is going to be Friday, October 18th, which was one of our predicted days that it was possible. At 4 a.m. Pacific. No. Back to our back to our normal times. We, we, it's been. I feel like it's been a while since we've had the four AM live letter. Uh, at least I feel that way. But coming back to that, and it's going to be our patch five point one part two teaser. So that basically narrows down the patch date date. It sure does. To which day, Sly? Twenty ninth. Twenty ninth. I think all of us will be shocked. They'd have to basically have delayed it. They would, I, would, I would call it a delay because they've been saying it would be late October for about a month, month and a half now. And so if it's anything but October 29th, we'll all be shocked. It would be especially mind-blowing if it was the 22nd somehow because that would really fuck with my head. <laughs> They'd be like, hey, by the way, prelim notes out as of the live letter. Being I, it's not, it's not gonna, no, it's not going to happen. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so October 29th, that starts to fit into our scheduling. It does mean that two weeks from that date will be Ultimate as well. And we still don't know what the Ultimate is, Sly. We won't find out. We'll find out. out. Yeah, but I want to know now. I'm still mad that they didn't tell us the last live letter. You probably already know. <sighs> no, but we don't. Here's the thing. We, we think we know, but until they tell us, mm-hmm. we don't really know. Like. It's probably Alexander, could be Warring mm-hmm. Triad. There's the, there's the guesses that just maybe they took the Crystal Tower and said, fuck it, we'll make it an eight-man ultimate. There's all sorts. And that's, listen, considering the theme of the expansion, I wouldn't be too surprised at that either. But I need them to tell us, Sly. That's the problem. I need them to tell us. And they still haven't. And considering ultimate is, looking at my calendar, November 12th, I'd like to know ASAP <laughs> before that. I don't want to wait that long. Just put like a lodestone post. <laughs> Slice like it's not going to happen. He, mm. what, what, what are you, what are you humming about over there? I'm just doing a little bit of math in terms of my schedule. Fuck. <laughs> He's like, as if the game season hasn't already been crazy enough. Now you got to look at where that fits in, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like i don't oh yeah 29th yeah sure all oh, that's cool ultimate shut up i don't games there's sword and shield in november fucking leave me alone okay mm-hmm. yeah, that's all, right. all right so with that uh one interesting thing about that post um they said one thing they'll talk about is iscard restoration which we knew that they would go into more detail but they mentioned your hot dark apocalypse again they're like yeah we're gonna be doing a sneak peek and i'm like how many times are you gonna talk about your ha I would say you're revealing the ultimate in that preview, and that's what I want to see. Yorha, I mean, obviously we're going to see it in the trailer. We're going to maybe see them walk two feet into it, into the first trash pack. How much of a sneak peek is it going to be? The armor? Boss. Well, we've seen one boss. We've seen this the ceiling dildo. Well, we've seen it in concept. We haven't seen it in... Like, we'll see in the trailer, actually. probably. Probably. I mean, we'll see things. It's just like, of all the two things they mentioned, like, including Yorha and Ishgard, I was like, why those two? Like, Ishgard, I get, but Yorha, it's like, we had Yoko Taro on last time. Just like, come on. We get, you gave us the music. You don't even, I don't even give a shit anything else now. You gave us the song in the live letter. That's all I need in my life. I'm, I'm a simple man, Sly. It's just like hard content and good live letters. <laughs> With a little bit of beer mixed between. Okay? I feel like I've turned into you. you. Kind of kind of a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I only have two, three beers a week. A week? Yeah, a week. I have sometimes yeah. one on the show, and then, like, maybe if I go you, out, I can. You haven't turned beer. into me. All right. You haven't turned into me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's confirmation. That's not enough beer to be you. No. no. One week equals 24 hours, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> That'd be funny. That's a good one. I like that. I like that Twitch chat. Okay, so we have that. We have our live letter. We know to look forward to that. We will be doing a show later that same day uh, on that same mm-hmm. live letter. I'll see if we can get a guest for the show because we haven't had one on in a few weeks. That's plan number one. Now the real hard. Now I said I liked hardcore content, Sly. You do. Nothing more. They, one of the three things they spoke about, and there's nothing more hardcore than that. Beyond Ultimate, Beyond Savage, Beyond Floor 200 Solos, Palace of the Dead. They're talking about housing. Oh, fuck. That is hardcore. It really is. Mm. It's weird that they gave us this before Ultimate because I figured they'd save the most hardcore thing for last. But we do have confirmation that there are going to be additional plots added in patch 5.1. There's not going to be a new zone, as some people maybe predicted, which I think was mm-hmm. a very greedy prediction. More, more of what want than practicality. But this will include 180 new plots of land for each of the four districts per server. So it's uh, wards 19, 20, and 21. Uh, so, you know, just a few hundred houses, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy, you know. Just, but it follows all the same rules as all the other times. Free companies get to go first. Personal housing comes later. But, you, but personal houses can be relocated, which is a big question I get a lot about housing here. Is the is the script club being relocated at all, Sly? Nope. We're staying in Shuragan. Yeah. We like the we like the um the bath right outside. I uh, so okay, I have a question. Do you care less about where your house is and more about where the club is <laughs> at this point? I mean, no, we could have done it in lavender beds. I mean, you could do it anywhere. It's a club, but yeah. you know. Sometimes, I mean, you care about the bath outsiders. What if the club moved to have the bath outside, you know? They probably got baths inside, but they, what if they had the bath outside, too? You get a little bit of that. You get a little bit of that late-night club scene. You get the outdoor hot tub in the middle of winter. Sly hasn't been to the club in weeks. No, he's been hitting things with the club in Monster Hunter. That, too. Yeah. You don't use, you don't and, use the hammer. You use a fucking switch axe, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Or or uh, what's the other one? Sw- the great sword. Yeah, there you go. Great sword. No, no, no. I betrayed great sword according to everybody. Oh God, no! Sly left great sword. He's switch axe now. He doesn't know what a great sword is anymore. And that's why I said switch axe. This last few times I tuned in, I saw switch axe. I was like, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's very different. So every time they release new housing, Sly, we have to ask the obvious question: Will it be enough? <laughs> Slumlord? Slumlord? How, yeah, how many of these wards just get bought out by one person, Sly? Nope. Nope? Yeah. What? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying yes. Okay. I'm agreeing I said with how you. many and you said yes. Which, oh, I get it. Alright. So how many of them? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a bolt. I don't know, dude. I like it's. It still happens, but I don't think it happens as much. <laughs> that says a lot. Oh, <laughs> oh right. you're cute. You're oh. cute. Thanks, man. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. You <laughs> oh, that. that was a good one. Yes, that yes. was a good one. I don't know. It's because I, I hear I hear about the I hear about this happening like maybe once or twice a month, and but it always feels like I'm talking about the same people who are doing it, and I mean literally mm-hmm. buying out all thirty of them, which they've taken steps against, but there's still people who can do it because there's still people who do it. Yeah, that's the thing, and they have the question is, have they really taken steps against them? No, they did. It just didn't work. <laughs> It didn't undo so the again, damage no. from before. It doesn't stop people who are sickos in regards to the amount of accounts and availability and guild that they have to still do it. You know, it just doesn't change anything. It just it changes things that don't change anything. I really hope one day we end up with a real solution. I really think they should stop looking into new wards. I really think they should look into apartments and enhancing that a lot more. And they've said they wanted to. Why are you giving me that look, Sly? Come on now. There's so because many apartments that, available. That's true, but people don't want apartments. They want houses. There's a difference. 
Dude, you ever seen one of those nice lavish apartments, like a nice suite up at like a New York skyscraper? Dude, I want that shit. Good, good for them. Awesome. High five. People want houses. Well, too fucking bad. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to find a middle ground here. That's not the middle ground. And you're right. There needs to be a solution. Apartments isn't the solution. Give us a hallway in the apartment. That we can like hang out, like we could leave the apartment, we could see our neighbors who just bought milk from the local grocery store for way too much that's expiring tomorrow. Get the real no, that'd be, city life. No, that would be fucking awkward. Nobody wants to do that. Then stop complaining about everyone wanting to have houses and be like in the housing area. And no, I don't have a personal house. My girlfriend has a house and I don't, and I'm a tenant, but I don't care. I have an apartment that has one pillar in it. That's it. It's the only thing in there. I don't even have anything in my apartment. It's just there. <laughs> See, for me, though, that's actually very real. To If I didn't live with a girlfriend, all this shit behind me wouldn't exist. I would literally moved into the same space with a desk, a mattress on the floor, and a chair with a computer. That's literally how I would live my life. And so when they give me a real computer and a computer desk and a computer chair... I can just put those in my apartment and game and I'm and I can role play as me. It's perfect. I'm just saying, Sly. If we can't if you if it's never gonna be enough, then the thing that there's more than enough of they can make better. There's more than enough apartments. It's a it true, but it's a band-aid more than anything. It doesn't fix So is adding more wards, technically. <laughs> That's a true. band-aid until people buy them all up. Which will happen. I'm just thinking. I don't know. I don't know if there's do any. More? And you want the apartment band aid more. I I think there's ways around the things that a house provides and providing them to more players without mm-hmm. just here's more houses. Good luck, nerds. I feel like there's probably a better technical solution for that. It's just a matter of we don't know how their back end giggity works at all when it comes to structuring those things. At the end of the day, it's all about the demand and demand has always been relatively higher than the supply all the time. And we we can't really find a way to get the supply to the supply will never meet the demand ever, but it can get close. It can get pretty fucking close, but they're not even trying to do that. I hate to I mean, do there, there, there has to be a way to gauge the interest. Wait. Treat it like fan fest merch. <laughs> pre-order. You had to pre-order houses. Oh shit. Sly serious. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to pre-order a house when the next wards come out. That's a way to gauge interest. If you have the money for it, then do it. Sure. You know, anyone will take that over sitting at a house for 20 hours and hoping they're the person who hits the placard first. Right. Some people also say lottery for buying plots, which people, I mean, people are genuinely surprised that's not a thing because in Japan, lotteries are are, are very common. So it's coming from a, a Japanese developer. It almost is surprising that that isn't the go-to solution, I guess, because Western fans are are not mm-hmm. quite, you know, into that, and it's a global market. So, but okay. yeah, pay real money for house. so pre-order and lottery. Those are two things, but that doesn't solve the, the no, 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 not at IRL money. Like you, a an in-game system, not using. No, I yeah, but they station. want they they say fuck it, we'll we'll go that extra mile. <laughs> I meant in game too. They, I think the people in chat are saying they want to go that mm. extra mile. They're like, "Fuck it, I'll slide." Listen, they're like, "You, like you, you don't know me. I bought a fat Moogle for thirty dollars. You think I'm gonna throw down for a house?" <laughs> I, you know what? And when I say it out loud, I totally understand why some people immediately jump to that. Yep. They like to sell the WoW tokens, the subscription tokens. <laughs> Specifically, we'll use Blizzard tokens for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even just a, 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 an analogy. We'll just literally do that. It makes perfect sense. 
I'm just, I don't know, dude. Like, I hate to say this, but in okay. 11, <laughs> in Final Fantasy oh, 11, everyone oh, gets the shitty little Mog House. Everyone gets one. It's just a small little shitty instance, like terrible looking piece of shit with a Moogle that doesn't stop spinning. And then there's just some like garden elsewhere where you just go do the garden shit. And then everyone's got their own little instance garden. Now, obviously, different volume, different server backend, but it it works. I'm just saying, there's ideas out there that work for other generations of games that maybe, you know, you could look at that and be like, well, how can we make that work with our servers? And maybe it doesn't. Mm -hmm. But I want to know that, you know? Okay. So that's all I'm saying. Okay. Because there's probably a better way to do this. And your source <laughs> is Source is a strong word. Uh, reference. You know, okay. you, it, it's, like how, it's like how the professors like never use Wikipedia as a source, but Wikipedia keeps references at the bottom, you know, it's like, and then you just use the references from Wikipedia instead of Wikipedia. So it's like that kind of. Kind of. Yeah. We can never get away from 11. Can we? Fuck. I mean, the anniversary for the PS2, no, for the PC version, the anniversary is next month. Don't forget PS2 Ooh. version released before the PC version. I gotta add that to my schedule around Ultimate. <laughs> I gotta like figure out where I'm fitting Anniversary 11 into all that. All right, well, best of luck to people who are uh, trying to get houses. My piece of advice, if you don't have a personal house already, don't waste any fucking time in wards 19 through 21. All the people who relocate their personal houses in wards one through 18 should be where you keep your eyes. And still, you're gonna have to do the whole wait 20 hours thing and wait the random period of time. But there's no point as an individual to go towards 19, 20, 21, because you won't be able to buy them. They'll be gone before personal housing is incorporated for those wards. That's my advice. You, you might get lucky. You can't, you literally can't get lucky. <laughs> there's no getting lucky. Getting lucky is for some reason there's houses that survive this. Like, whenever, like, weeks or, or, like, a month down the line. That's it. Good luck. Yeah, or just go to a server nobody... Just go to Crystal. You'll get plenty of houses. Except That's Valorant. not a solution. <laughs> I mean, a it's a solution, solution to one problem. I'm trying to populate Crystal, Sly. You shut your mouth, all right? Are you trying to populate Crystal or kick people off of fucking Aether? Potato, potato. Okay, there we go. Make an alt on Crystal, make the gill, buy the house there, and then fuck off on your other data center. How about that? Does that make you feel better, Sly? You don't have to leave. You're like, I'm going to log into my raid character. I'm going to log into my house character. Everyone's talking, to, everyone's talking about their raid alts. They're, you know, they're crafting. Oh, no, dude, fuck, we got our housing alt. Sly, you can come to Ether if you want. <laughs> well, I already have an alt in Ether anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, fine. Yeah. You, win, you win this one, Sly. All right. Good luck to anyone who's actually trying to buy one of those houses. Hopefully, you got plenty of gill saved up. I'm almost back to my 200 million mark. If I just sold the material I had on me, I'd be over my 200 million mark. Feeling good, Sly. Feeling good. Now, next we have mentor system updates. So I, the face you generally give me about like certain topics, I share that face with the mentor system. Because I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's, it's mostly the individuals. I'd say, I'd say I'm going to be generous and say half the individuals who use it are not there for the right reasons. I'm say, I said I was being generous, Sly. What would the real number be? You don't, you don't want that number, Sly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I want that number. The number's not 100%. I promise you the number's not 
Because yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. some mentors who are actually good. Okay, so between 90 and 98. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, that crown, that crown's sexy, dude. So they briefly talked about this in the last live letter. Did but it? we have the exact details now. So in patch 5.1... The first thing they're going to be doing is allowing you to identify what kind of mentor you are. So for the 2% of people who give a shit, if you have the PVE requirements for mentor, you can choose to label yourself as a PVE or a PVP mentor. Now, slide. There is nothing in the mentor requirements that even remotely wants you to go towards PVP. You can, you can do it. Some people will. No. <laughs> yes. Some people will. No. <laughs> I know certain people who will. But there's nothing that mandates you do any PvP to earn that mentor title. Nothing. It could happen. Maybe you do the Nadam like four times and you're like, I know what the fuck I'm doing. These these fucking nerds are getting taught right four? now. Four? Yeah, four times. That's the average yeah. lifespan of people queuing into new PvP maps. Probably four times, because it's like one day, they do a couple hours, and then they you know go to their wives, and they tuck their children, and they go to work the next day. They get home from work, and they go, well, that's not how I'm going to spend my time. I think that's that's a good average for most people. Okay. I think this title exemplifies why I don't like the mentor system. <laughs> There's nothing, again, that mandates that you do any PvP before you earn that title. And I, I don't like it. <laughs> I have a strong distaste for that exact title. Or their status, I guess I should say. Because that's the wording. Because it's not a title that goes... It doesn't say PvP Mentor Mr. Happy. It's just a status for people to search me by. I just don't know why they felt that they couldn't have just added another condition to earn mentorship that involves PvP to give right. you said... I don't know what, why... Sly, explain to me why that wasn't the process. Adding a third means through which to obtain mentor that involves PvP. At least, at least you do PvP. Like you've looked at it. You could not even have it unlocked and have that. <laughs> you know why? Why? Get Sly, that's why I'm asking. I didn't you don't need to ask me why. I want to know why. Free chicken. Even more free chicken but this doesn't get you more free chicken no no it's adding to the already free chicken it's just more chicken you're saying so in this case is free chicken pvp or is free chicken the mentor system <laughs> yes i'd stop saying yes when I ask you questions. <laughs> because it's both <laughs> you're not wrong, wrong? but thank you I said stop it stop saying yes <laughs> yeah i don't like this this was the only thing i took away and said i don't like that from this whole post the rest is okay agreed, agreed. i mean like at least i mean you don't have to attach rank to it if you're doing pvp personally personally speaking i would I would attach rank to it. If you're talking about PVP mentorship, yeah, throw a rank on. Like, give people a reason to keep playing rank matches and not, you know, sitting at the top. Yeah, this would be one of the reasons. Is there? I don't even think they've started the new season yet. I think there's. Think people are still hmm. sitting on preseason. They're doing. They said they're doing a pretty a pretty big PVP like action overhaul going to five point one. So we'll see how that turns out. And a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get familiar with it because I'm playing the Nadam. It's Seal Rock. It's the good PvP. Game. Yeah. The only one. The only good one. So I have to play it. Okay. It's good that, they, right. that they're that they doing the only good PvP mode. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. And Feast. I, I actually do. I do like Feast. But okay. 
of all the other ones, the only good one is the one they're doing a second one of. So all right. they got that part right. Um, Disciple of Hand or Land, if you have that condition, uh, you can become a trade mentor. I think that's that's fair. That makes sense, because guess what? It's you fair. crafted and gathered. Unlike the PvP mentor title, where you're just like, ah. Wait, that, did you? Did you? Okay, well, you you Googled someone else's macro, or... Listen, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get this for paying. This, you actually would need to do these things, because it's not... I'm pretty sure the conditions aren't just to level the crafters. I'm pretty sure you need something else. Because if it's just a level crafter, well, fuck it. No, I, like, I mean, they're like... Yeah, exactly. Because you just I turned, can, did the turn-ins. I can tell you who's a great person to buy leave kit items from. His name is Tequila Shots 1500 <laughs> Or you Google Ash's macro and let that carry you all the way. It requires a specific number of collectibles. Okay, see, yeah, I don't, I don't do that, so that's fine. I couldn't get it. I think that's fair. I don't think I should be able to get it. Okay. And, if, and honestly, if you've done collectibles, I'd say that understanding how collectibles work to some degree, you at least can pass on the most basic information from being a trade mentor. You could just give someone Ash's macro. You could just give someone the collectible rotation. That's good enough. Mm -hmm. It's like easy information to pass along. Right. 300 collectibles, and I probably still haven't done it. <laughs> yeah, I might have actually for gathering. I did do a lot of collectibles for gathering. I didn't do any for crafting. I've literally not made ever a crafting collectible. Zero in my wow. lifetime. Wow, not even for um, turn-ins? No. Like your weeklies? No. Oh, wow. I've never made a crafting collectible in this game. Zero. Jesus. I've done gathering collectibles, but I've but I have never touched crafting one. So, uh, also, trade mentor doesn't give you access to the mentor roulette, which I think is smart because it has nothing to do with combat. Mm -hmm. Although, granted, the PvP mentor one also doesn't make sense to give you that because that's PVE. Where's our PvP mentor roulette where you teach people how to PvP? Oh wait, they're all bots and shatter. Anyway, Now with that, they did make one up to see. You see, I, I see I see the emotion going through your face right now. All right. God damn it. That's true. So anyway, uh for the battle mentors, they are changing the conditions. We knew they were raising it to 80 in the previous time they mentioned it. They we know you'll have to recertify before December's up, but you also now need to have fifteen hundred player accommodations instead of three hundred. So five times the commendation requirement. Now, that's something. Yeah. You have to at least be playing like healer or tank and just farming commendations that way. If you really like level 10 guild tests, I'm sure you could get a shit ton of player commendations like that. I don't, I don't have 3,000, but I have over 1,500. I just want to know... But why PvP mentors? <laughs> it still doesn't change my opinion on that. Why, why are you giving me that look, Sly? Because I'm wondering how many I have. Is it 1,500? We're about to find out. So you know, actually, the issue I run into with getting commendations, the reason I don't even have 3,000, I just I just literally, I should, when I stream 14, I just go, hey, who wants to do a dungeon? I, and I fill it, and I never get a commendation. Woe is fucking me, you know? So it's this, I don't care. I, I care more to give people commendations than I do to get them for like leveling. Just for that one like we weekly thing. I don't give a shit about getting them. I just want to give people. I want people to be good enough to earn my commendation. You know how many times yeah, I finish agreed. a dungeon and I don't give people commendations if it's like pugs and it's like really, really unexceptional? Be like, the tank didn't deserve it. I was tanking a mob the whole time. Healer didn't deserve it. The tank died even though I had a mob on me the whole time. But I lived, so I guess maybe he gets a commendation. And the other DPS did single target the whole time, so I'm keeping this one. <laughs> that has happened more times than I care to admit. I'll agree. I'll totally agree that that's happened. I can't remember what exactly. It, it was some roulette that I just wanted to get the fuck out of. Sounds like a Again, it's happened like multiple hard. times. <laughs> I'm I'm actually remembering the exact time, which was a leveling roulette in Karn. And also the DPS kept killing the heads when they weren't on platforms. So. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, 
But at, at least it's some additional wall between this and, mm-hmm. and the rest of the player base. But why did they set that wall so high, though? I don't even think they set it that high. They said it. They, they realized getting 300 commendations proved absolutely nothing. So they're like, well, let's do 1,500, which still proves absolutely nothing. But odds mm. are you've at least earned a commendation. You've earned some of those earnestly, maybe, is maybe the thought process that goes into that. I don't think so right. at all, but it's, I'm literally reaching for anything. here. <laughs> That's it. Maybe... <laughs> I let me just finish the fucking post before I before I go off on a mad rant on mentors. Okay. The smartest thing about this is the renewal of mentor certification. If there's anything people who have to do something manually are terrible at, it's renewing anything. Your driver's license, no one wants to go down to the fucking mm-hmm. DMV for that shit. Your fucking mm-hmm. magazine subscription, nobody buys that shit anymore. I kind of forgive you for that one. Or your Costco card. Whatever it is. People don't like to renew shit. They just want it to happen automatically. So anything that doesn't happen automatically weeds out the people who are too lazy to do it. So I think that this is a start. And I would like to see them go down the road of making you renew more frequently. I think every patch you should have to renew your mentor crown. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Lois, Hang this on. is not my Batman yeah. class. Oh, whoa, whoa. Every fucking patch? Every major patch. Not every, every little tiny patch. patch, yes. So the point ones, the point two. Jeez. That's asking a lot. I'm asking for people who give a fuck to give a fuck. <laughs> I'm asking for people who don't give a fuck to keep not giving a fuck, but to not. You put that system in. You put that system into place and you're going to find out just how many people just don't give a fuck. Good. (laughs) That's what I want. I want the people who want it to at least make the effort to do it. (laughs) I mean, people will make an effort, but not that damn much. It's I'm asking for literally three minutes of every. I'm not even asking you to do new content chats like make them do new content. Make them be like the latest extreme. I had a recommendations like that. Make them make them do something in their mentor category. New PvP map, you know, several PvP matches, like a PvP season that like qualifies you as a minimum to earn PvP mentor. Something. They want like full on condition. Okay, cool. I'm down for that. I'm just saying at least get started by making sure that people have to actually renew this shit. Because if you disappear for three fucking years, you shouldn't come back with your crown because you had it ages ago. This will be the first time oh, people so have had the opportunity agreed. to lose their crown. Agreed. Agreed. But every patch, though? Every major patch? It's like mm. we're talking about talking to an NPC if you already qualify or requalifying if you don't. That's it. It's all I'm asking for. Anytime there's an expert in anything, you want them to renew shit. You want You want everyone to like retake their new exams and shit in the field of where you're saying you are a professional mentors you are professionals as far as i'm concerned i'd expect you to be up to date and licensed you asking a lot from current mentors i'm asking asking i'm asking the not i'm asking the shitty mentors to please sit down (laughs) that's all i'm asking for Because I don't even have the crown slide. None of this even fucking applies to me. Because you know what? When I want to teach people, I just tell them what they ask. I'm not like, look at me with my crown. But fuck you, which is what most of the mentor system ends up being. Right. There you go. I'm just, I just want better mentors. And this is this won't even make them better. This will just make them <laughs> less of them. Which is good enough for me, because it means there's less bad ones. The good ones I'll probably keep going. If you have a better solution, Sly, I'd love to hear it. <clears throat> I thought you were reaching for a beer, because I was like, that's probably the no. better solution. No. That's what I'm reaching for. You really just want to turn this into DMV. 
I want to. Yeah, I want to turn it into the DMV. I want people who like really want this to have to like want it. You have to. You have to want it. That's it. One thing. One thing. One thing. One thing that you. One thing that you want that you really don't want to take the effort for really don't want to make the effort for you just i mean because to be honest i feel like if you're playing the game you're going through the motions anyway so just to to add another you know gate or layer to it it just feels a little unnecessary i guess okay sly I'll, I'll i'll take i'll take your unnecessary and shooting down all my other ideas and i'll present you with an, another one Okay. Get rid of the fucking crowd. I can agree with that. Just fuck it. Who needs a crown? You don't need anything over your head. That's it. People want That's the fine. crown and people people want to write frustrating stories about mentor roulette. I mean, to me, to me, I I want it just for the extra roulette and for the extra tomes that you get from the extra roulette. That's it. I don't need a fucking crown. Just give me extra tomes. I just, I just want better mentors, man. Or I want, I want them to keep breaking down these different mentor types. If they keep, if they keep mm. breaking down to more types of mentors, like if there's like a general advice mentor versus a PVE mentor versus a PVP mentor versus a Dark Knight mentor, like, like it's a lot of work to get all that out. But if they would, just, if they were as a way to break down the kind of mentor you actually were. And could express in game somehow. I'd be I'd be mm -hmm. okay with it now because if somebody says they're the Dark Knight mentor and they're like, yeah, I don't really, I think Delirium's not good, so I don't use it. You, <laughs> you're like, all right, I don't listen to this fucking guy. That's it. It's done. If he's a <laughs> PVE mentor and you say that, he's like, oh, he's probably just trying to give that guy some advice. He doesn't really play it. He probably just heard his friend say that or something. Mm -hmm. And if you and if you're not a mentor for something, just don't give advice for it. <laughs> Fuck it. That's it. You can tell I really don't like the mentor system. Yeah. You know what was Again, a mentor it's more, system? It's more of an it's more of a Eastern idea than it is a Western idea. Yeah, I was just about to say that. The game I think had the best mentor system is not the game you think that I'm gonna name. Bless online. <laughs> Was it Bless? No, I don't think it was Bless. It was... No, it wasn't Bless. It was... What was that one called with a Revelation online? It would basically pair you up. Like, you could pick an individual who was advertising themselves specifically as a mentor for something. And then you could choose to go in as their student. And they basically... They opted in for the signups for, to, to find a student, essentially. In a specific thing. It was almost like a party finder for mentors. So the only people who ever won, there's no, and there was the only, there was very minor rewards for doing it. So you had to, and you only got them if the person said you were like good enough. Essentially, you got rated by how good you were. Now, of course, that's abusable in other ways, but there's always ways to abuse shit. Like you hmm. could just have a friend like join yours over and over again and just do that. But there's stop gaps for shit like that. Yeah. So. It's another solution, Sly. One day we'll find a way to make mentors matter. It didn't work in 11. It doesn't work in 14. <laughs> Mentor system in 11 was really bad. It needed to be, I think, level 30. <laughs> That's it. That was the only request. And have like a week play time. <laughs> and you could be a mentor. It was Damn, bad. they set the bar low as fuck. <laughs> yeah, 11 set the, bo the, 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 the bar real fucking low. So, this is still better than that. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that. But mm. it's, it's not saying much, I suppose. So, we'll have to wait to see if that has any noticeable changes. It won't. Especially because the people who don't renew will still be able to stay in the novice network. Even though they're not mentors and they're not novices. Yay. It'll just let you, but what it will show you is an icon of a mentor who has yet to renew certification. 
So now it's 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 saying this motherfucker's too lazy to even do that. You gonna listen to him? You won't. You better not listen to him. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Chat saying they should rework commendations. I like PvP commendations. I would be okay if they incorporated a legitimate separate commendation system in PvP. That wasn't just lugged in. Uh, with. Mm, are you sure about that? I'm a hundred percent sure. That's that's just as bad as words. Negative commendations. I'd be fucked. People would grief, <laughs> dude. People would grief the that's fuck out of me. That's just as bad as words. <laughs> but see, in 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 battlegrounds, you can use words anyway. You're not restrict. The words aren't restricted in battlegrounds. Hmm. Unlicensed mentor, like a back alley quack doctor. <laughs> Hey, don't you make fun of Donald Duck. He was trying, okay? Yeah. So, I'd say I'd be okay with that. Obviously, you, I don't think you can really do craft and gathering commendations unless you were fulfilling orders for people and they could choose to reward it to you, which is dumb. That's a big no on that one. So, good luck, Mentor System. I'd, I'll see you never, as far as I'm concerned. Now, there's one final post for us to talk about, Sly. Mm -hmm. New UI stuff. Ooh, boy. No buckets for you yet. Still no buckets. Still no tackle boxes. Mm -hmm. we'll, I will keep you, I'll keep you up to date on that, Sly, if they ever announce anything. You know I've given up that play. You, yeah, you, you and uh, Summoners are in the same boat. You're just giving up. No Eggy Glamour mentions either. Remember, earliest was 5.1. <laughs> it's a very light promise they made way back. <laughs> Just imagine, yo, at the earliest, I will get, I will, I'll say hi to you in five minutes. It's like five minutes from now, you're like. It's been six minutes now. I said at the earliest. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Yeah, very light promise. First thing we have is, have is Glamour Dresser updates. Such a, such a feature that I use so much. Oh, man. I have made one plate. You'll be proud to know, so I made one Glamour plate, finally, about a month ago. What's a Glamour Dresser? <laughs> it's uh, inventory that I, that I don't need to worry about. <laughs> for items that I don't equip for stats. Uh, okay. All right. Just check. All right, good, good. You can even stick all your fishing shit in there since so you don't have a tackle box. As long as it's an appearance-related thing. Just pour, throw all your, your fishing glam in there. It'll be okay. So all they did was make it so it's a little less cumbersome. Uh, you can choose to display only items that can be equipped by your current race or gender. It lets you locate if you've, like, fantasia if there's an item. I guess you technically can't use anymore in there. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you do it all the time and you have all sorts of gender stuff and then you just need to stuff for your current gender or race. And you can also display only items that can be equipped by your selected class job. So it'll get rid of all the items that are useless to you in terms of your glamour customization for your tanks, your healers, whatever it is you want to do. Very basic stuff, but okay. appreciated. I, will, I still don't use it, but... <laughs> exactly. I, I store items in there and I have a frog outfit. The only two things I really needed out of that. I didn't even put the headpiece in there. I keep the headpiece on there. I only put the other the other pieces in there. I don't know why. I just prefer to have the frog head in my inventory. Um. Oh yeah, and for chat, yes, the video quality is lower because Zoom fucked with everything, and so I've had to change my codec, and it looks like shit. <laughs> it's like it's just every week has gotten worse and worse. So why we're we're very close to not using Zoom anymore. Because week by week, it screws with OBS more and more and kills me on the inside. Please look forward to Discord in the near future. <laughs> yeah, Discord video and audio entirely. It's, it's probably on its way at this point. So now they're also making updates to the Duty Finder and the Raid Finder. The first one that they didn't even mention is drop-down windows for... Uh, different expansions of content. So you know how like in Dungeons 1, Trials 1, it's A Realm Reborn, Heaven's Word, and Stormblood all mixed in. Mm -hmm. Now they are compactable. Is that the word I'm looking for? What's the word we're with for a drop-down menu? It begins with a C. I always, I always want to say compressible or compactable. I think it's uh, mm -hmm. 
I'm sure chattel, chattel correctly. I, I, for some reason, the word slips in my mind. I'd just say compact. collapsible, collapsible. That's the one. The windows are collapsible. There you go, chat. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And this is something that kind of needs to happen because despite what everyone thinks, Shadowbringers is not the last 14 expansion. <laughs> I got that question in chat today. Yeah, I get that question a lot, dude. What? Yeah, huh? I get that question a lot. Is, is like, is Shadowbringers the last expansion? I get that question a lot, Sly. <laughs> it brings a smile to your face, okay. huh? All right. <laughs> Sly's so like, why All would right. anyone? Why does anyone think that? That's so weird. Yeah, okay. It is pretty mm -hmm. weird. I I feel like someone's going around, like wild voice. We're we're, we're playing wild voice. That's it, dude. They put out yeah. those patch notes for Visions of Nazoth. They got uh, they got the, all these things that I don't care about, but like I'll probably yeah. watch I'll probably watch Method stream the raid, so that's cool. Ooh, boy. <laughs> yeah, put on your mentor crown and be like, yes, this is the last expansion. <laughs> <laughs> there you if go. If you do that, you are an absolute asshole. Don't do that. Just don't put on the mentor crown. Just leave it off. Save yourself the embarrassment. You don't have to say anything. Just see that they'll see the mentor crown. They'll be like, whatever. Moving on. Hmm. But uh, that for, I'm a big fan of that. I felt that was an inevitability for adding to the uh, for the menu. There's just too many fucking things to scroll through as far as I'm yeah. concerned. I think they probably I feel like that's probably temporary. I feel like they probably just have to redo this entire window at some point. I don't know how because I'm not a UI guy, but I, I feel like at some point they, they just need to redo it from the ground up. I feel like we need to talk to Avalon about this. Yeah, he's he's always yeah, he's, the UI he's guy. The, yeah, he's the UI guy. We need to have him on. It's okay. actually fascinating how how much he breaks down the UI. Uh, for anyone who who is wondering who we're talking about, uh, Avalon Star, who uh, is our friend Brian, as we regularly refer to him, um, from the yep. media tour, he actually did a lot of UI element breakdowns, and that's something he's very very uh, passionate about. Passionate about, yeah, and is very knowledgeable about. So if you are ever wondering about that kind of stuff, if you ever catch him playing fourteen on Twitch or you ever see a YouTube video, they're great watches. So I'd highly recommend it if you're into that kind of thing. So, yeah, um, that's not a bad idea. Just to get a quick opinion piece from him yeah. about uh, UI improvements he'd like to see. Because I feel like a lot of us share that, but some of us don't really know how we want it to be better, like me. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas he could probably actually come up with a solution, which is far more valuable of uh, an input than what we can provide. That being said, that's not even the thing they talked about. They didn't even make mention of that. It's just in the screenshots. Mm hmm what they mentioned was that it now shows your item level in the duty finder and raid finder. So if anyone's ever wondering what the, if some, someone ever just didn't want to press C or rebound C and has never checked it, uh, they can just, uh, <laughs> I did, you know, I did that for like a month. I, I, I rebound C and I complete, I just had to keep going to the bottom right and pulling it up because <laughs> I just kept forgetting to rebind it. I rebounded to C eventually, but uh, now you can see it there. Just making sure it's one less button press. I think that's really important for you. You know how many bad 14 was with multiple button presses, even in 2.0. At 1.0, it was terrible. 1.0. I mean, I feel still, like it's worse for I feel like it's worse for PS4 than anything. The button presses. Yeah, I yeah, that's you're probably right. It's it's definitely even more valuable for console users. Um, somebody else brought up that uh if you have something like a yokai watch equipped, for example, <laughs> you might notice when you queue into the duty file. <laughs> Probably not, but you might. <laughs> Aloha, no, this has nothing to do with you. No. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> Stop it. Did did you were you wearing a yokai watch? Yeah, okay. That's it. Um there's another thing they did though. They also changed the duty finder settings. This is another reason why I think they'll just change the whole thing eventually. Because they literally redid this whole window. It's nothing like the old window. It's not like check boxes anymore it's it's just it's this nice like modern ui with like crosses through it and checks and it's more even though it's a wider menu overall because of the description on the right mm -hmm. it's a bit more the actual settings you need to interact with are a little more compact it's less vertical i suppose right so that's really nice but there's something new on that window sly silence echo there's a new duty finder yes. setting now i see that and i think of all the times I've rechallenged old content, wanted to do it without Echo, you have to click off Echo all the time. It's annoying. That's it. 
Yeah. And there's probably groups of people who want to go back and try all old uh, content. And they have to click it off every time and it's annoying for them. So to have that built into mm -hmm. the game is welcome, as far as I'm concerned. Agreed. That's not how they described it being used. They specifically said, well, that's, there's been rumors that this feature may be helpful for Blue Mages. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's that look, Sly? What's, what is that look telling me? Yeah, where's my Blue Mage mentor? <laughs> I know all the spells. I'm pretty good. I'm I'm pretty qualified to be a mentor in that category. Is that the is that one of the prerequisites? You have to know all the spells. Yeah, you have to know all the spells, and then you have to recertify when the new spells come. <laughs> You I'd, to, I'd assume, you have to okay, complete the mass carnival. I was going to say, in all reality, they'd probably just make it finish the mass carnival. They would probably not make it learn every spell. But still, I'm memeing. So who gives a shit? Okay. I, I assume this has to do with Blue Mage logs and changes coming to Blue Mage in 5.1. Maybe Blue Mage log is like defeat this encounter with four Blue Mages without Echo. Or maybe they'll increase the learn rate. If you do something with eight blue mages without the echo or anything at all, you know, possibly, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still not super happy about what was, excuse me, announced for blue mage in 5.1. I'm not enthusiastic, but I do hope increased learn rates with a full party of blue mages with the echo off. So that's exciting. I'll do that. I'm fucking down for that. Or we can keep having two or three level 80s burn through it for five blue mages. <laughs> yeah, four or five blue mages. The way I'm really yeah. used to doing it. I just, I'm not... I really hope I like the blue mage log more than I think I will, Sly. I want to like it. I just we all want to like it, but I don't think we will. I was okay with it the first time. I can't wait to see them expand upon this, and I'm like, that's not at all what I wanted you to do. I just want Palace of the Dead, man. That's all I want. Palace of the Dead solo on Blue Mage. And I ain't gonna get it. Emote mm -hmm. updates. They're gonna make it so you can sort alphabetically for emotes. I have opened that window a grand total of five times in six years. So for those of you who actually use that window, enjoy. Just realized you were wearing a Yasugami high shirt. I just realized it, Sly. And oh. also you can make you can you can add a, a a a sound for when someone emotes at you. Hmm. So you don't miss someone poking you or bro fisting you or whatever the fuck emote they're doing at you. You'll never miss it. So I, I am never in my life using that feature. Now your friends will be happy that you noticed them, Simpai. I will. Yeah. And by the way, who wrote this again? I, I had to remind myself in our crew. Voltanine wrote this. You, you, sound, you sound like a Pokemon that just they didn't care to put in the Pokedex. That's what, that's what you get. That's what you get for writing that joke. Okay. It's like Arcanine's brother. Then they're like, yeah, we'll just take him. All right. <laughs> I'm just I'm just giving him a hard time. Sly. I just want to say that I love the community team and I thank you for <laughs> everything that you do. I love the community team, too. But this is you've love gone, to have you back gone, on the show. You've gone too far with this joke. I would love to have you back on the show. They've gone too the far with the joke, Sly. As an expert in these kind of things. Expert. <laughs> mentor, sorry. <laughs> mentor, holy shit. Okay. Yeah, as, as, as an expert in these sorts of things, I can tell you they've gone too far. Don't, listen. Don't give me that look, Sly. We, and we draw the line at Yom Deer jokes. <laughs> How did you get this this mentor crown? I'd I got like a lot of commendations. 
from who? Dude, the, luckily for me, commendations come in the form of hand palms. See? I just got another one. <laughs> Expert. Thank you. You know, I was really hoping that was your reaction to it, too, is to do something like this. Because I was like, I, I, hope, I hope it works out like this. Yeah. Must have told 3,000 puns, elicited 750 groans, and shattered 250 souls. Your soul I've shattered easily 250 times alone. So I'm good. I've gotten grown. And then when we have three or four people on the show, that's three easy groans. Because I'm pugging my groans at that point. You're lucky that I didn't include the head shakes as, as meant to. Because I would have even more than that. Of course you would. Exactly. All right. Um, and with that, they wrapped up their UI update little teaser. For 5.1. Full to 9. Never make that joke again. I beg you. That's, that's all I'm asking for. And with that, we just have to wait for the live letter next Friday. And the, I'd have to imagine there's like interviews and previews and other stuff that'll probably happen in the meantime. We actually haven't done a State of the Realm interview with uh, Yoshida in quite some time. We haven't done like an email interview. Uh, we should probably do that sometime after 5.1. Yeah, we should. Okay, let's get, we'll, get, we'll get some questions ready. We'll, we'll do that. Sometime yeah. after 5.1 releases, things calm down a little bit. Probably, we'll, we'll try to do that. If anyone from the community team's watching, I will... And doesn't hate us. And doesn't hate us. And isn't and isn't Volta 9, who is now... Who is now like... What was his account name? Hey, customer service. This guy... Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Sly's like, I don't know. <laughs> Sly's like, I would do it. <laughs> Sly's thinking I would do it to you. The thoughts of Stay in the Realm. The thoughts of Sly. Re reflect are, both of us equally. No. <laughs> no. And that should no. be treated equally as a, as a I, form of media. I want it's great, to It's been a great show, me. guys. We're going to end there on that very specific note for both of us. Fuck me. Yeah. Well, that, oh, well, see, now that also expresses both of us. So I don't know how to, where to go with that. So great. See, now I, I get your fallout too. It's perfect. Yeah. Please love us. <laughs> Please. Just get in the Pokedex and, and it doesn't work anymore. Oh my God. He's still. Listen, I'm just ready for... I'm just in Sword and Shield mode for next month. That's it. All right. The name does literally remind me of, of Pokemon. I feel like that's intentional. <laughs> so... That's our show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, not really, there's not really any other news. Uh, there are some pretty interesting topics that popped up on Reddit that I was going to prepare for the show. Just like little... Dis I know, Sly, I said yeah. Reddit and your eyes lit up like that didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, I'll look on Reddit every now and then when we don't have a show. I look on Reddit every... I look on Reddit every day. I just, you know, I've seen enough of the fan art posts that I can go through those. And then I can, like, look for, like, other topics... In between, hmm. you know, and there's sometimes people try to stir up some some pretty good, uh, some pretty good things. Like there's a lore question here about like forgiven obscenity before they became a sin eater. You know, trying to trying to piece together. There's some great discussions about stuff like that. Game is changing lives. You know, people who have started recently and moved on to some stuff. People transferring between platforms. Like the Orzia Cafe. There's all sorts of things here, but I don't remember the one that I saw and I went, oh, that would make a great topic for State mm -hmm. of the Realm. I just don't, I don't see it. I'm scrolling through real quick. Like there's, there's the one where the devs are, quote, looking into the possibility, unquote, of adding a non-Garo invisible shield in a future patch. Because Garo is going to be gone in just a few weeks, Sly. Yeah. You got, you got all your stuff for it? I got it when it first came out. You know, ch chat does bring up discussions on Reddit. All I see is the stupid meme template. That's the one with Yoshida and, and Koji and Soken in the crowd. Like, 
I actually somebody somebody took that one to the next level and they have them doing that with and they're looking at basish Tola and then they see Shadowbringers just Tola and it's got like the red eyes, like the super hyped one. Mm. See? There's it's a good, excellent discussion. Memes discuss. Listen, if we could do a whole show about 14 memes, we'd be banned on Twitch. All right. See, that's when we really, really need, need foals on the show. I knew you were gonna fucking yeah. see it. You can't even deny that one. No, that I really needs can. to be a show. I could absolutely deny it. Fly. It needs to be a show. It really doesn't. We can bring them up, but it doesn't need to be a show. Yeah, meme mentor. There you go. What are the qualifications for meme mentor? Valen brought up a good one. Somebody reversed the template for Blue Mate, so they're super excited, and then after it comes out. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Yeah. No, but for real though, I can't remember what that topic was. So we're gonna make that a wrap for this week's episode. No no need to drag it out longer than the approximate hour that we've had to talk about recent news. Next week, especially, is going to be a likely a very girthy episode. How you doing? <laughs> It's not the response you're supposed to use, Sly. See, that's how it see. Speak, State of the Realm speaks for both of us. Um, because next Friday, as we said earlier, is going to be the live letter at 4 a.m. We will be doing a, our show at 2 p.m. on Friday, October 18th for next week. 4 p.m. Sorry. 4 p.m. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I said 2. 2 is when I end my normal stream. So it's just the first time I think. Yeah. Uh, 4 p.m. Pacific. So uh, 12 hours later than when the live letter actually takes place on Friday, October 18th. So be sure to tune into that. Gonna see if we can get any guests on the show. I know I don't know what Ethis is up to that day. There's a few guests we also haven't had in a while that we could also do for. So we'll see. We've got a, a pretty wide variety of guests that we. Can... Oh, you cleared Leviathan Slayer. Yeah. You did it. You pugged it. I mean, I would have cleared it earlier, but. I just didn't have the time. Like the last time, the last time I got into Levy was like maybe a couple of weeks ago. And that was like my point one in rage. And people were like, fuck it. I just don't feel like doing it anymore. I'm like, really? That sounds like my, uh, you know what that sounds like? That sounds like my fucking A3 Savage back in the day yeah. where everyone just after we wiped that 500 HP, everyone's like, no, fuck it. I'm leaving. I'm done. And then we had to get back together and we were like, all right, we're going to finish this. Right. Congratulations, yeah. man. I got to be Titan. Uh, You'll be all right. I believe. Yeah, I believe. I'm not too worried. Audio only listeners, you can't see the look of I don't believe that for a remote fucking second on my face. I'm not. I'm not. I've seen the pits of despair within PF. Like, that's not feeling like you're going to be okay, Slide. That's. That's. Stock like either Stockholm syndrome or your soul's gone already and there's nothing left to take. Yeah, that could be true. Like no, it I is. just don't give a fuck. I just don't give a fuck. And like all the pain really comes from E1. Once you get past E1, it's okay. No, all the pain is at E2, Sly, and you know that mm -hmm. E1 is not the no, fucking pain No, no. Surprisingly, the pain goes away in E2. E2 is just a quick one and done. Had no problems with E2. E2, okay, let me rephrase this. E2 re-clears are probably fine. E1 re-clears are terrible every time. Yes, they are. Okay, I agree with yeah. that. I I a hundred percent agree with that sentiment. Someone who's never done them before, <laughs> I may not make the same statement even with gear. It's yeah. gotten a lot easier with gear. You too, you just you know you burn through a little bit with gear. It's not as tight as it was. Yeah, but I won't E1, go. Everybody, for I some reason, E one. Everybody acts like they don't have any goddamn sense. I don't know no, why. I don't. It's because it's the first fight, Sly. It's easy. We'll, we'll just one-shot we'll just one shot it. No problem. Oh, shit. I got hit by Delta attack. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to aim the laser. Sorry. Oh, that's right. I got to oh. silence the ad. Sorry. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to. I'm partnered with this person. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm in your spot. I'm sorry. 
I mean, you're a spot again. I'm sorry. I'm just not used to this. I'm sorry. You're not used to being in a spot that you're usually in. But they're not in that spot, Sly. They're usually in that. So they're usually west. Now they're northwest. And it's fucking with them. Okay. I was northwest for three weeks. They made me west in the pug this week. I told them I didn't want it. You know how it goes. Why the fuck was range down in like just anywhere south? Anywhere south? Why oh, was right, it range I'm anywhere south? Yeah, yeah. All right, just, I want healer like, this week. Sorry. <laughs> it's funny you say that because half the time I go to open on like hunts. Whenever I'm not on white mage, I still try to cast arrow going. Or I'm sorry, Dia going in. And I'm like, oh fuck, that's right. I'm not on white mage. I'm on paladin. I just. <laughs> I just used, like, Rampart or something. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Somebody in chat posted that you'd beat it, and I, I, had to, I had to congratulate you properly before we wrapped up the show. With that, though, we are going to wrap up for this week, and we do have that, that show next Friday. But, Sly, of course, we have to thank our sponsors over at Steel Series. We'll be doing a yes. free monthly giveaway for State of the Realm every week for or every month for well over a year and a half at this point. They've been my sponsor on my channel for ages, and now that they give free stuff to Stay of the Realm, who's complaining? It's good stuff. I harassed Matt from, uh, didn't really harass him, but Matt from the community team. Uh, he was asking for headset recommendations, and I gave him a nice sellout recommendation on Twitter. It was beautiful. I mean, I, I, I live for that kind of shit. For somebody asking me, hey, what do you think? And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Look no further, my friend, than the Arctis 5 and Arctis 7 from Steel Series for your wired or wireless needs. Affordable, high, aff affordable, high quality headsets. Where can you get them? Simply type exclamation mark Steel Series in my chat for a 10% discount code. Gabriel Iglesias stands up and presents. It's perfect. So thank you, Steel Series, for sponsoring the show. Also, of course, thank you to our patrons who have been supporting every week. The list I have not updated since we got back from TwitchCon, so apologies if things aren't 100% accurate on that end. I fixed them for Mondays, but I have not remembered to fix them. So that list on the top right might have to have some names moved around or might have to have a new name added to it. I will get to that and make sure that's done before next week. But we also have our Painters of Darkness who have had the same images now for the last several weeks. No worries for that, as long as you have something to that I have. I have like 60 pictures for Kuja and I have like nine for Kur and I. That's Kuja Cross from Genova. He's been providing us with custom art actually the last several times. One more like Maple Story 2, this one. I don't really know what to compare this to. I'm not uh not too well versed in artistic styles. So but all the same, cool picture. And then we have Kur and I, who I still have with you, Sly, whether or not you want it. That's the one I currently have right there. So unless he wants to get me a new one, that's what's going to be there. Because I used Ethis's for like two months and I've used yours for... Get him a new one, Kurunai. <laughs> what if he gets a new one with you? Fuck. What if he just like logs into Monster Hunter or something? Just does that instead. <laughs> I thought we were only using 14 pictures anyway. Eh, he can do whatever he wants. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, well, fuck Listen, he's the, he's the sponsor. I'm, I'm the guy who thanks him. There's the two very different scenarios. He has some power over this. He goes, I want this one. I'm like, sure. We do. We have Monster Hunter in 14. As far as I'm concerned, it's the perfect qualifier. Okay. There you go. But with that, Sly, I think we're ready to sign off. We thanked our patrons. We thanked Steel Series. Now, I want to tell everyone what your schedule has been plaguing you with, whether it be good or bad, and where they can find you at. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash sly aka gray fox, Instagram at sly aka gray fox, Twitter at sly the fox, youtube.com slash the velvet room. Uh, the schedule for October isn't as bad as September. No, no, it's not that bad. Um, only thing is, I'll be actually playing uh near near the middle of the month, so <laughs> near the middle of the month, I get it. No pun intended. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing that. And then, of course, uh, you know, every year, because you don't fuck with tradition, we have our Sly Jennifer Halloween uh, stream. So please look forward to that. Hi. And Mike, where can they find you? Okay, before that, though, chat wants to know when's MR Behemoth coming on Monster Hunter. <laughs> 
No. Just <laughs> All no. right, they got two yeses and a no this show. Whatever they, whatever they apply. No, to. just oh, yeah. just we are, we're already getting the fucking roided out monkey. Why do we need Mr. Behemoth? Gameplay, content. All right. With that slide, you can find me, Mister Happy One Two Two Seven, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. All the same thing. If you just search it, you'll find it. Uh, played through Indivisible. I got early access to it this last Sunday. It was an RPG made by Lab Zero, the same people who made Skullgirls. And it's a mix of like Metroidvania meets Valkyrie profile. It's been about 21-ish hours. And there's still some secrets I didn't find, but I got all my achievements. And honestly, love the game. Hope to see it at future GDQs after AGDQ. I think the next possible one would be like a Summer Games or one of the in-between events that they do. I thought it was fantastic. And I'm looking forward to seeing people route that and play it. Would highly recommend it as a game. And the soundtrack is killer. Uh, on top of that, we've been doing some Dauntless, Borderlands 3, and Final Fantasy 14 leveling Scholar on the stream. And we're getting back into doing some extra YouTube videos. May even do some for Indivisible because while it is an RPG, it does have some fighting game elements to it for the Valkyrie Profile-esque combat that I find quite interesting. I think some people might enjoy some content on. But with that, Sly, I think we're done with the show for the week. Sure. So why don't we move on yeah. over into post show? Five ten minutes. I'm gonna go get some food after that. You can go get some food. You had a sandwich before the show, and mm-hmm. uh, we'll reconvene next Friday at four p.m. Pacific for the next day of the run. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. All right, and I'll see who we can get as a guest for that show as well. Everyone, appreciate you tuning in to stay of the realm just for a little Thank bit of you. news, a little bit of fun, a little bit of memes, and we will see you next Friday. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Until then, take care. See you next week.